there are a lot of pros to becoming a software engineer. Most notably is the high salary. I mean, the average software engineer in the US makes around $150,000 a year. Even if you only work as a software engineer for a few years, working in a job with such a high salary will allow you to save and set yourself up for financial success. The second pro is that you can actually work from anywhere. Granted, some positions are hybrid or in person, but there are tons and tons of fully remote software engineering positions that allow you to work from anywhere that you have Wi-Fi. And the third pro that I'll mention is that when you're a software engineer, you're always solving new challenges and, you know, facing new problems, which can be very interesting. You know, every day doesn't necessarily have to be the same. Every ticket you work on can be different. Sometimes you do end up in sort of more monotonous phases of work, but typically speaking, you build something and then if you're working at a kind of company where things are moving quickly, you'll end up building something entirely new the next month. So it's definitely a job that will keep you interested and keep you on your toes. Now into the cons. Now there are some really um, great pros, but there are several cons that you do want to be aware of if you are going to pursue this career path. The first con being it's a very mentally taxing role. As a software engineer, you spend a lot of time just thinking about how to solve the problems you're working on and how all the code can work together well. And that can really exhaust your brain. At the end of the day, you might find yourself not wanting to go out and hang with your friends or do do anything very interesting. The second con that I'd say is that it can actually be a very sedentary lifestyle because all of your work has to take place at a desk with a computer. So you don't actually end up moving around a lot during your day unless you make the active effort too. The third con is that if you work fully remotely, although it has a lot of benefits, if you don't surround yourself with a community outside of your workday, it can be very lonely because you're not interacting with anybody in person during the day. And then if you, again, if you don't have a community outside of work, then you're going to be spending the majority of your time alone. Alone. The fourth con that I think is unique in the tech industry and something that I didn't realize until I got my first job was that there can be a very different communication style when people are only interacting with one another on online. And I think that a lot of the times people might act in a way online that they would not act if they saw each other in person. Um, whether or not that means they're a bit more harsh in certain scenarios or a bit overexcited or um, a bit too forceful about certain ideas. I think that there is definitely a difference between somebody who you communicate with solely online versus somebody who you communicate with maybe online as well as face to face. Um, and finally, the fifth thing that I'll note, if you do work in a larger company that has multiple employees across time zones, it can be very difficult to schedule meetings and to work effectively across those time zones. It really requires having a company culture that supports work across time zone and asynchronous communication in order for things to continue moving efficiently when a company is fully remote.